Let's dance our way over to the kitchen because <laughs> Luke Hines is back. A celebrity chef from Australia. How are you, you my friend? You ready to tango? Yes, I'm ready to tango in the kitchen with you anytime. Okay, weekend first. Did you have a good weekend? A fantastic weekend. Loving my time in Auckland Great. and uh, happy Monday. Great to be here cooking. Nice. We are such a fan of your work, your incredible books, your incredible ethos to the entire looking after yourself and you have been teaching us some great recipes. So today, what are we doing? We are doing what I traditionally call my crispy chicken and bacon sweet potato pockets. Right. But because I'm in New Zealand, it's all about the Coomera. Nice. Yeah, you're right. And it's Māori Language Week too, so that's perfect. Nice. Kumara. Nice. Maybe you can teach me some words for the rest of the week. Yeah, I think I need to get taught some as well. But <laughs> I, will, I will help you out a little with that. Uh, so obviously we're going to be using some chicken. We've got some nice green vegetables there. That's exactly right. And there's a, there's a vegetable in here that not everyone loves. Mm -hmm. The old Brussels sprout. I'm a fan. You're a fan? Yeah, I do. I used to hate them, but I love them now. Well, I want to show people that they can be absolutely delicious. And you know what makes everything delicious? Bacon. Bacon. Yeah, nice. <laughs> well, if you can make this healthy, then I'm all for it. We'll teach you how to do this a little later on. Right now, though, it is over to Mal. Jolly great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Loki is back again. We've got him for another week, which is fantastic. And uh, this looks good, because healthy cooking that involves bacon. You've got to teach me how to do this. Absolutely, Mike. And what we've done so far is just get the chilli and the garlic into the pan, yep. sautéing down so that we release all those beautiful, delicious flavours. And as I said at the start of the show, this is all about making healthy food easy, but right. also delicious, which is why we're adding bacon. Nice. Now, everything tastes better with bacon. It always and does. And the other thing I love about using bacon in recipes like this is it releases all of its good fats into the pan to cook the rest of your food with. Okay. So what we're doing is we're releasing the bacon flavour that will coat things like the cauliflower, the broccoli, and the Brussels sprouts, which nice. aren't everybody's cup of tea. No, but it makes them taste better, doesn't now it? Now I'm going to get the bacon in there. Yep. Hello, bacon. There you go. Fantastic. Absolutely perfect. Now, what I've done is I've pre-chopped some of these veggies to be a little bit smaller. All right, so when we're cooking for families, especially the younger kids, yep. it's often good if we can almost disguise some True. of those veggies so we don't want them to be too big or overpowering ah, on the plate. Right. So what we do is we make them quite small and when we cook them down, once you add all the other ingredients, the kids aren't going to see that all of those, those uh, vegetables are in their dish. So a bit of trickery. A, a bit of bit. trickery, that's what we like. That's exactly right. No, but that's good. Now, yeah. I should tell you a little bit about what we've done with the kumara here today. Yeah. So as you can see, it's beautiful, soft and caramelised. Oh yeah, that's good. Now this acts as our sweet potato pocket. All okay. right. So basically we're swapping out a baguette or a bun or bread for this kumara right here. So what we've done is we've just baked it in the oven at 180 degrees mm -hmm. for about 30 to 40 minutes and what we're left with is this beautiful colour and then when I cut it open later in the show you're going to see how soft and delicious that really is. Absolutely beautiful. So that bacon is cooking down really nicely. It's smelling good. We don't at this stage have to cook it all the way through okay. because we've got a few more processes to go. So this is a perfect time yes. to add in the Brussels sprouts, Good work. which are wonderful for us. So many health benefits of Brussels. And my other two favourite vegetables, the cauliflower and the broccoli. We're chucking those in there too. Now what this will do over about three to four minutes is it'll soften all the vegetables down and they'll actually almost halve in size. Okay. So you'll see a really good combination of bacon, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and then we're going to take it to the next level by adding the chicken and making it nice and crispy. Now, I had a few people over the weekend ask me a couple of questions about you. Uh oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. No, the hot it, was seat. it was good. It was good. Are you single or are you taken? I'm taken. <laughs> okay. I am taken. Um, the other thing is, you know, to maintain your lifestyle, because you look at your Facebook page, you look at your books, and you look at your theories on, you know, being positive within the mind and the yep. body. Yep. How often would you have to work out? to maintain that. Look, to me, health is more about how you feel about yourself right. and of having a positive outlook than it is about training or dieting. OK, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. So you can eat really well and you can train really hard but still not be healthy. So what I advise people to do is have a healthy relationship with food and most of all, a healthy relationship with themselves. Yep. And that is the best starting point because then when you start eating the good food and moving your body, it all just falls into place. And we, we find synergy between how we move what we eat, but most of all, how we feel. 
And that is Healthy Made Easy. He's got a book out. You can go to his Facebook page. You can follow you know, Luke as well, Instagram and social media. Really interesting. And I just love the fact that you are sharing all your secrets with the rest of New Zealand. It's a pleasure to have you back in the kitchen, my friend. Pleasure to be here. And tell you what, we'll come back and we'll see the second part of this very soon. Right now, though, we are back in the kitchen with the incredible Luke Hines. And just look at this. You are it? doing such a good job. It, I love it. It just looks so good because you've got little bits of bacon in there and you've got the colours of health in there as well. Now, look, we don't be too good at it because okay. you won't need me for the rest of the week. Oh, great. Right? All right, and I want to stick around. I'm okay. loving it here. So what Lots I want to do is yes. I want to open up the beautiful sweet potatoes that we've got here mm -hmm. and I want to show you how gorgeous <gasps> that oh, colour yeah. is right look, there. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. So soft, beautiful. delicious and good for and you, good for you mm. as well. I've got to say the kuma is probably one of my favourite vegetables. Nothing better than making crispy kumara chips. Oh, yes. I don't know about you guys, but that is lighting up my life. Now it's time to put in the chicken. Okay. So I'm just going to make some room in there. Yeah, we're using... You could give that a bit of a turnaround. Yeah, we're using the good old Rangatake chicken again. Corn fed, free range, good, it's good. It's now, nice when you find a brand that you fall in love with. You just know what you're getting every time you go to the supermarket. Now, do, do people ever look at you and the first thing they think of is Popeye? <laughs> because of the bulging, uh, the bulging biceps, the yeah, arms. That's, that's right. Yeah. Well, speaking of Popeye, we're going to add some spinach into this dish right now as right. well because it is packed with iron. And I tell you what, iron is that fuel. It's what we need for energy as humans. And it's, it's really wonderful when we get it into our system. And you'll notice how any kind of feelings of lethargy or being tired yep. Yep. disappear when you stock up on iron. Jeez, we're looking after you here today at the cafe, well, aren't hello. we? Hello, there you go, all the there tips and tricks. No, that's good. Now we're going to saute that spinach down, which is looking beautiful. Now while you do that, yes. I want to get on to my paleo sour cream. All right, so this paleo is, sour cream. This is a dairy-free okay. alternative for people good. who want sour cream. So all we need to do in a bowl is add some coconut cream. Yep. Pour that in just like so. I'll use about half there. Mm -hmm. And then we get the fresh juice of some lemon. Yep. We squeeze that in just like that. And then the final ingredient to give us that beautiful taste of sour cream is actually apple cider vinegar. Oh, okay. Now, apple cider vinegar is really, really good for gut health. We spoke about that on last week's show. Yep. And there's no better way to incorporate it onto the diet, into the diet, than in something like paleo sour cream. Okay, brilliant. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a whisk and a mix through, and we can set that aside, and that's going to be absolutely perfect for when we start to plate up. This is coming along so nicely. I've never heard of paleo sour cream, so there you go. That's good. Another trick. And you can get all this info in this book. What do we need to do now? So that's what we're, we're just looking gonna for here yeah. is we're looking for the chicken to become nice and crispy. Right. All right. Now, I want to tell you guys at home that if you're not using chicken, this is a really, really versatile dish for any other cut of meat that you might actually have in the household. Okay, cool. And I think that's the biggest thing with cooking healthy, is that you shouldn't feel restricted by the actual cookbook. I think people need to feel really free that they can mix and match things. Okay, I cool. have a lot of people get in touch and say, hey, Luke, I really want to make this recipe, but I don't have one of the ingredients. Yeah. And my advice is don't worry about it. Either just leave the ingredient out because it'll still work or swap it out for something different. Maybe swap flat leaf parsley for coriander or swap garlic for onion. Just feel free to be versatile. What have you learned actually about the way food has changed over the years? Because we're becoming so much more conscious about the food that we're putting into our body, which is a good thing. And yep. you are helping us, guide us through those journeys. So what, what have you noticed personally? Some Look, of the big changes. First and foremost, keep it simple. Right. Don't make it complicated and don't make it expensive or time consuming. Just use everyday ingredients yep. that you can find anywhere that suit you and your lifestyle. Right. But just try and avoid things that are in packets or too, too pre-prepared. Cook from scratch, and I truly believe, Mike, yeah. that if you want to take your health seriously, it starts in the kitchen mm -hmm. cooking your own food because then you have the true ability to know what you're eating and how it was prepared. And it's good to teach your children that as well, isn't it? You give them a bit of confidence in the kitchen with your cooking and they go on to pass that through their family as well. So. Absolutely. Nice work. Thank you so much, Luke. Well, Luke Hines, if your recipe could be directed by any film director, who would it be? Great question. I reckon Steven Spielberg in the style of Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Harks back to the old days, doesn't it? 
uh -huh. Queen Paleo. Okay, what have you got here for us? Our um, sweet, sweet Kumara. That's exactly right. I've just seasoned oh, yeah. some fresh herbs. As you can see, this is one way to get your whole family eating delicious vegetables. You can't go wrong. You know what? I would not be scoffing if that was in my lunchbox each day. That is incredible. <laughs>